pruning tips, we we'll looking at some hand pruning tools. September is one of two months that we do not recommend any type of pruning. So we're going to focus this video on hand pruning tool. We'll focus on various pruning saws in October. In this video, we'll be talking about pruning tools. This first pruning tool I have here is a hawkbill knife, sometimes referred to as a pruning knife. And this knife is used by nurserymen and sometimes landscapers to prune small twigs or young growth on a tree or a shrub. And it's carried in your pocket. I can fold it in my pocket with this clip that actually allows me to put safety on it, put it in my pocket or in a scabbard. My next tool here is a anvil pruner. Anvil pruners have a flat surface where the blade connects to that surface and it cuts the, the material that you're pruning. This tool is not used for pruning woody plants as it crushes those plants. So it's a tool that you would use to prune for basis perennials or annuals when you're actually cutting those, particularly in deadheading, removing dead plants, tissue, dead twigs, or what have you. My next tool here is a Felco bypass pruner. As it indicates, the blade bypasses this curved uh, section that holds the uh, limb in place. This tool will be used to cut woody material up to maybe a half, three quarter inch in diameter. This is a cheaper pair of bypass pruners. This pair probably run about 10 or $12 retail. A homeowner version that doesn't, somebody that doesn't do a lot of pruning could use it. It's probably gonna be made of cheaper metal and doesn't hold an edge very well. So it's not a tool that I would recommend for most scenarios. This is also a bypass pruner. This bypass pruner is made a little different, made in Germany. It's a very sturdy tool, has a very tough, hard um, steel blade, which holds the edge very long and is designed in such a way that it's easy on the hands. The final tool here is an offset pruner. It's also a bypass pruner. It's designed as such to to reduce some fatigue to your hands. Now this is a Christmas tree shear. You use this to shear Christmas trees when you're shaping them in the field. Could be used for shearing hemlocks or some conifers in landscape as well. It takes a very strong hand and a lot of getting used to and using it. It's a tool that you need chaps on and protective gear on your legs as one swipe with this will send you to the hospital very quick. That blade on there is extremely sharp. It's razor sharp. And so you want to keep it in a scabbard even during storage. These older handy shears here are shears that have a sharp edge on one side and a serrated but very sharp edge on the other. These will be used for shearing conifers in a hedge or small leaf plants such as a, a small leaf holly or perhaps a boxwood. Now some of my loppers are here. Loppers are a pruner that's a next step up from a hand pruner that takes two hands. This is a 12 inch pruner. You can prune things maybe up to an inch in diameter and oftentimes you can get into small areas, slightly larger areas than with a hand pruner pruning slightly bigger materials on a hand pruner. It's actually a good handy pruner to have in the toolbox. This older pair of loppers is very similar, but it has a 30 inch handle and you can get a lot of leverage and prune, prune something perhaps as big as an inch and a half. And my final loppers here are gonna be a pair that I use quite frequently. It's more of a modern design. And this one will telescope out from a 18 inch handle up to 36 inch handle. And this will give you a lot of variability in the sense that you could actually use it in places that might have uh, a smaller area to work in up to an area that gives you a little more leverage. So thank you for watching this short video and be sure to tune in the next time when we'll be looking at various kinds of pruning saws.